It's really a pleasure to join you for the launch of a very special book, The Elimination of Infectious Diseases from the Southeast Asia Region, Keeping the Promise. This book shows the great progress that's been made in the control of communicable diseases in the region during the past decade. And it provides good news at a time when the world is faced by the devastating effects of climate change and the neglect of our planet. My pleasure to participate in this launch is even greater because I have worked for the past 20 years with the book's editor, Dr. Poonam Ketrapal Singh. Countries of the WHO Southeast Asia region have for decades been fighting communicable diseases. I myself had the privilege of working in the region in the 1970s and 1980s and know the challenges you face. But as this book shows, those challenges have not stopped the fight against communicable diseases, nor have they stopped the strengthening of primary health care and the expansion of universal health coverage. As we all know, infectious diseases affect the poor and the disadvantages. They've been be left behind in a world where we have the means of eliminating and eradicating communicable diseases. But during the past 10 years, the region has moved to overcome these equalities and moved in a very impressive way. The eradication of polio, the elimination of communicable diseases in certain geographic areas, including malaria, yaws, lymphatic filariasis, trachoma, mother to child transmission of HIV and syphilis. This book provides some, this book provides some compelling insights as to how this has been done. And this has been done by high level political commitment, adequate and predictable funding provided by governments and maintaining a sustained sense of urgency. COVID-19 has unfortunately caused setbacks for the entire world, and the Southeast Asia region has not been spared. The challenge now remains for us to use the lessons learned from this crisis to invest in preparedness for the future. Public health with strong surveillance and response capacity, resilient healthcare with surge capacity, and populations that can better resist infections. It's my firm belief that as technical advances continue to become available, and with strong political will and leadership, countries in the Southeast Asia region will continue to make and sustain progress to eliminate and eradicate infectious diseases. This book is an inspiration for a region that is rapidly becoming healthier as more and more people share in the benefits that technology has brought and will continue to bring. Thank you, Poonam, for having invited me to participate in this launch from afar.